And it's 7.01, and we are off to the races. Good morning. Coach Josh here, live from what I am told will be the final week of uh, the quarantine here in the dojo as we move to reopen next week. Today, I want to talk about habits and repetition. So when it comes to um, fitness, uh, we, all, we know you got to get the reps in. You know, you got to get the mileage in. You got to get, you got to do the, uh, the curls and the presses. You got to get, you know, uh, get your squats in to, to build muscle and burn fat. And uh, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the books that we are reading in book club is uh, Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he talks about your actions against your habits like voting. Like, you don't have to, uh, when, you're, when, you, when you take an action uh, to, you know, go to bed on time or work out or eat broccoli or whatever, you're, that's a vote. That's a vote for the habit um, that's in, in alignment with the identity that you're creating. And you don't have to get 100% of the vote to win. You just have to get the majority most of the time. So by getting up and working out and doing the training and getting the reps in, what you're doing is you're placing votes for your, uh, for your habits, for, for being strong, for being flexible, for all the things that we're working on here at Training for Warriors. And then, uh, you know, how that ties into the training that we're doing today, what you'll probably notice about our, our strength training days is the exercises don't vary as much as they do on the metabolic days where we do a lot of different stuff. So uh, one of the reasons is, is in order to get strong and build muscle, you have to get time under tension in, certain p in the same position. So you have to get the reps in. You have to build up reps over the course of the day, over the week, and over the month. So for strength training, to get the improvements that we want to see, we, we can subtly vary the exercises a little bit, but we have to repeat the exercises enough to get the reps in and, and build up enough strength and build up enough practice and mastery so that we can get really good at it and, and improve and then lift heavier weights and, and build more muscle. So it's important to get the reps in on the same exercises, and that's what we're doing here today for our strength training day. So we're gonna do a couple of uh, circuits and um, a, a, a superset and get a lot of practice in for what we're trying to build up. Without further ado, let's get ready to pump you up. So I'm on my knees. We're gonna use a lot of uh, upper body today. We're gonna stretch that uh, upper back. So I'm gonna get into child's pose. So I'm sitting on my feet, I'm reaching out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk all the way out. There we go. So I'm gonna crawl my hands out. They're, be, they're towards each other. My right arm is really tight and that's good because we're stretching that right lat. So once you find that tension point, you're gonna breathe. And just by breathing, you're already mobilizing that back. And you're, if you're adding tension to that lat. You can crawl out a little bit further. Breathing. And then you're going to go to the other side, crawling out. And breathe once you get there. Breathing in through the nose, filling up that belly, stretching that back, crawling a little bit further. and come back to the center. 
come in. So stretched both sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to activate that upper back. I'm going to sit on my feet, fingertips behind my head, elbow to elbow, and I'm going to look underneath the elbow at the sky. I'm going to do 10 reps with the left, 10 reps with the right. A little tight there, Bootsy? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. So it's OK if you have a tight side and a not tight side. Looks like today my left side is really tight. That's all right. So I'm looking underneath my elbow at the sky, or trying to, noticing where I'm stiff. Then I'm going to get up on my hands and knees. I'm spreading my knees apart on the ground, squeezing my glutes, taking my knuckles, pushing down into the floor. And then I'm going to spin my chin in circles, loosening up that neck. I'm going to do five big circles clockwise five big circles counterclockwise. Knuckles continue to push down to the ground. You're going to feel that stretching the guitar strings, all those things. The chin moves. Yeah. Good stuff. So we're going to open up the chest a little bit more. And so I'm going to reach behind me. I'm going to interlace my fingers, lock out my elbows, and then pull my shoulders down and back. And now I have a stretch on my pecs. And then if I want to make it a little bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach my arms further back, and I'm going to feel that stretch a little bit more, pushing my hands away. Now, if you're tight, you can grab a belt or a sock or something and hold on to it with both your hands. But you're going to stay active and breathe here. Then to get the uh, arms a little bit more fired up. We're going to do some archer planks. So I'm going to start to turn on those muscles by getting into a full plank, a high plank here on my hands. I'm going to draw the hand up the chest. I'm just going to do five per side, activating the muscles of the upper back. Getting everything ready. Yeah. Woo. It's good stuff. All right. So we're going to start off with the kneeling cur curl to press and the dumbbell split stance row. So the kneeling curl to press, you could do this with a kettlebell or dumbbells. I'm going to demonstrate with dumbbells first. So I'm going to be on my knees. I'm going to squeeze my glutes and push the knees apart. That's going to create that tension in my lower body. My rib cage is going to be dropped down, so now I'm not rocking and swaying. I've got that pillar. I'm going to do a curl. And once I do that curl, my palms are already facing me. I'm going to press straight up. Palms are facing each other here at the top. Rib cage stays down. Glutes stays on. Come back down. That's one. 
So I'm going to do eight of these in my set. Three. And when I'm coming down, I want to be extra controlled and not in a hurry. I already feel my joints pop in here. That's a good sign. It means of turning things on. Good. So we're going to pair that exercise with the row. And that row is going to be from the split stance. So I'm going to be long. And my back is going to be as, at as steep as angle as I can maintain. My elbow's braced on my knee, pulling in. And I'm going to pull my thumb into my rib cage. So my back leg stays locked. My thumb points inside towards my body the whole time. And then I'm not trying to pull so high that I lose my position. Other side, doing the same thing. Long stance. We're going to do 12 reps on the right. 12 reps on the left. So those two exercises are what we're doing today. And now what we want to do is, if you have heavy weights available, I want you to use a challenging weight, something where you could do eight reps, but that nine or 10th one would be challenging, would be, too, would be pretty hard. That's what I want you to select for this. If you don't have heavy weights, I want you to slow the tempo down. And I'll demonstrate that too. So, Second round. Glutes are on. Curl. Press. 1,000, 2,000. So real slow on the way down. Emphasizing that time under tension. Building that muscle. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then start my split stance row. And this one's going to be on my weaker side first. So if I'm Juliana, maybe I don't have a weak, weaker side. Maybe I only have strong sides. Then you just start with your, whichever side is your favorite. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Back to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
So that was round two. We're going to rest no more than 60 seconds, but we want to rest enough to where we can be strong in the next round. What do you think, Bootsy? You need heavier weights? All right, Warriors, third set. Let's get it going. I'm going to try just a little bit harder, see how that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So you do your eight reps, and you move on to your split squats, long stride. Two, three. Making sure that four back stays low. I could basically touch the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was three, right? Nice. All right, round four. Last set, best set. Put my heart rate monitor on again. Boo. What? I don't want to put it on now. No. Beautiful, Steve. Looking great. I'll join you. Glutes on, rib cage down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting those rows in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ha! Yeah! All right, getting those reps in, warming up those arms and shoulders. Now, we're gonna do one of my favorite kind of sets. This is a, uh, a what I learned as a Pollocken protocol, which is we're gonna get every muscle fiber in the upper body by doing, uh, fast twitch muscle fibers and slow twitch muscle fibers all in a row. So we're gonna do a neutral grip bent row. Then we're gonna do the tripod sit out, six per side for a total of 10, sorry, 12. And then we're gonna do 24 swimmers. So we're really gonna roast that upper back and get it nice and primed. And we're gonna hit all the muscle fibers in that in that, uh, in that group. So you're going to do a neutral grip bent row, which looks like this. I'm bending over, butt back, pulling up those heavy pants, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top. Four, five, six, Then six tripod sit outs per side. So I'm gonna do a sit out, come up, lift that hip up, go to the other side. That's one. Up. Two. Up. Three, up, four, up, five, six, ha. Then you're gonna do 24 swimmers from the floor. All the way out. Fingers stay splayed as you pull your elbows to your hips. Shoulder blades come together at the bottom, but not at the top. 24 of them. Four. Eyes are 12 inches in front of you. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, and four. <sighs> Woohoo! So that adds up. We're gonna rest for 
about a minute, a little less than that. And then we're gonna start again from the bent row. So now's the time to get your hydration, get that water. about 20 seconds left. Make sure your weight is right. So again, if you don't have heavy weight, that's perfectly fine. Just slow yourself down when you're doing those dumbbell rows. Slow them down and then we're gonna get started in three, two, and Four, five, butt back just, strong spine, six. Tripod sit out. Uh, up, kick it through, it's one. Up, kick it through, two. Up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, again, eyes 12 inches in front. 24 reps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, come on Josh, 4, haha, <sighs> getting those reps in there. Elbows to the waist, Steve. Don't be in a hurry. So 60 second rest. I've got another 40 seconds or so on mine. Then we're uh, on our last set here. That's it. This does add up somehow, some way. All right. Six reps of the bent row. One, two, three, four, Five, six, six reps, 12 tripod sit outs, one, when I'm kicking through the sit out, two, trying to get my inside hip, three, get to the ceiling, four, Five. Uh, six. 24 swimmers. 
can barely feel them. One, two, three, not touching the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ha, 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 ha. So good. <clears throat> All right, now for our next trick. What we just did for the back, we're gonna do for the uh, upper body. So we're gonna do the dumbbell floor press, some skull crushers, and then the body saw. So the dumbbell floor press is a fun one because we're very strong in this position and this allows us to slow down our pressing motion so I'm gonna start with my elbows at a 45 degree angle from my shoulder. So I'm not out here like a high angle bench press. I'm actually down here pretty low. Then my whole body's pushing into the floor and I'm gonna drive up and I'm gonna go slow on the way down. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. As soon as I feel the skin of my tricep touch the ground, I'm powering up. That's one. Power up, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're only doing six. I just got excited. Now the skull crusher, same position, but I'm gonna grip the dumbbell and then I'm gonna keep my elbows in the exact same spot as I press overhead. So see my elbows, they don't drift around. They'll want to, to move front to back, but I, I don't want to let them. Four, five, we're doing 12 now. Six, seven, eight, don't forget to breathe. Nine, 10, not touching your head but almost 11 and 12, yeah. So really feeling that in the back of the arms. You're barely gonna notice your arms as you get into a body saw. So what a body saw is it's a plank that moves back and forth. So I'm on my elbows and then I'm going to drop my hips down and I'm gonna pull myself towards my elbows pull myself towards my toes. Elbows, toes. Three, four. Every time I come back up towards the elbows, that's another one. My butt will try to raise up, but I'm gonna squeeze my knees together and keep my hips low so I stay in a straight line. And I'm gonna feel that all the way from my belly button to my shoulders. Keeping that, those hips down. 13. 14, 15, squeezing those shoes together, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4. A little trembling, a little trembling is okay. 
So you're probably asking, Josh, why the hell are we doing any of this? And the answer is we have to tackle each one of the muscle fibers individually. So when you lift super heavy weights, that's when you're getting your explosive muscles. When you do 10 to 15 reps, that's your type 2B muscles or 2A muscles, which are your medium term endurance fibers. And then when you do something longer than 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds, depending on the literature you're reading, that's when those type 1 muscle fibers or those, those uh, long term energy fibers come into play. So we got to do all of them. And by doing them all in a row, we ensure maximal recruitment from that muscle group. So we're going to go ahead and get started here in about 15 seconds. Back to back to back to back. I'm going to narrate what you're looking for so that you don't rush this, as I want you to get as much out of it as you can. All right, I'm doing a floor press. Once again, sitting down, legs are on the floor, 3,000, press, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 2, very slow, then explode, 3, 4, 5, if you don't have any weights at home, you can do this with push-ups, 6, then you're going to set that down. Elbows inside above your head. One, two. If you're trembling, that's OK. Three, four, five, six. You can still move and tremble. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, body size twenty four. One, two, keep those hips low, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, squeezing those knees together. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Huh. All right, that was two rounds. The shaking means it's working. So we're gonna do this next round. And make sure your technique is pristine. You wanna be fast when you press, whether you're doing the push-up or the dumbbell press from the floor. You wanna be controlled when you're doing those skull crushers. And so I'm positioning my body against the camera so you can see the angle. And my, my elbows barely move. But I have to look at myself in the mirror, or sorry, I have to police myself because uh, if my elbows will move too to make it easier if I'm not paying attention. All right, last set. Ugh. Four, five, 
Six. One more for good luck. Seven. Dropping it down. Then. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice and controlled. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Come on, Josh. Twelve. Body saws, 24 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, Four. Woo -hoo. Yeah. All right. So, time for dessert. Knee grab, push up, and the squat. So, the knee grab, I'm here on my back. One, two, throw on those hands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The T push up. So you can do this again from the floor or a couch or a bed, wherever you're at. You're gonna push and rotate up towards the ceiling, just like we were doing in our archer plank. So, feet apart. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and from there, squat. Hamstring bias. Get your shoulder of the park. Drop it down. Lifting up. That's one. My spot. My chin sticks to my chest. Two. Final piece of 
piece of dessert for you. And this is for your shoulder health. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna review the alphabet. So, I've got my chalkboard right here, and my chalkboard right here on both sides of me. I'm gonna take my hand, I've got two invisible pieces of chalk, and I'm gonna draw the alphabet on the chalkboard in all caps. A. Big B. C. Big D. Capital D. E. One, two, three. Got that. F. Almost like an E with just two marks there. That's F. C E F G. Big G. Up, curl in, and then down. Don't forget that down part. H, one, big middle, big side, that's two, that's three, H. I, big line, big line, that's I. J, boom, boom across the bottom. F, K, J, K, big K, dude, boom, strokes, big broad strokes. L, big line, back. M, boom, 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 boom. N, boom, 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 whack. O, big O. P, big line. P, Q, circle it up. And then a little tiny slash at the end, don't forget that, that's what makes a Q. R, R all the way through. Q, R, S. S in it up. T, big line, big line. Going up the QST. U, big U. TV, down, up, that's the V. TV, W, two, three, take it upside down, down. X, big X. Y. And then Z. Whack. Zorro. Ha. There you go. A little shoulder deltoid dessert for you. What a way to kick off their arm and shoulder training, or and your arm, arm and shoulder training. Wow. One of the things that um, we did when we were programming, and we're gonna do from now on, is we were programming all the exercises to be helpful for what you're feeling and facing in the pandemic with desk work and other things, and man, my back and my shoulders felt like a million dollars. So we're gonna to continue to do programming like that because we all need our necks and our backs to feel really good. So we're gonna we're gonna keep up that good work and we're gonna get the reps in and we're gonna to continue to get those votes for our identity and continue to build muscle, burn fat, and bring forth the warrior within. I'm not saying I would ever say that Fit Aid prevents the coronavirus, but I, I drink Fit Aid and I haven't had the coronavirus. So would it be irresponsible to, to point those two things out in the same sentence? Yes. <laughs>